Good morning. Yeah, it just is good morning. Right, this is the first um, build update for the to me it's Sturm Tiger. Uh, so what I'm going to do to start off, I'm going to do parts one and two together, which is those two. The baffle hub, so the rear on all the suspension arms, and then we're starting the wheels. Obviously, I won't connect the wheels onto the uh, chassis quite yet but I'll go ahead and carry on with this as I said everything's cut off off the sprues ready to assemble excuse me ready to be assembled um, quite dark in here today considering the sun shining um, does it make any difference? Not, nothing at all uh, yes yeah, so that's what I'm going to do and I cheated uh, I, see, I did say I was putting metal tracks on uh, but I've actually gone ahead and done them I was on the hangout last night with the lads and just carried on doing them this morning and finished them so they're all ready to be to be sorted. I've left a you know, I've did these with the same as Andy's hobby headquarters with the staple. There we are. So I've left the staple in there so I can take and pin the tracks and pin them. I've got to clean them all up yet. I've given them a file just to clean the edges of where the pin's gone. Why are we why are we dark today? Why are we dark? So yeah, it's right, the nice detail, really nice detail, and so simple to get put together. I couldn't believe it. So this is the first ever time I've done them, and uh, it just took me. You know, I haven't rushed. I did a bit yesterday. I did them a bit today. Just finished them off today. So they'll still obviously need cleaning up, and I don't. I won't be burnishing these ones because I have enough burnishing fluid. So I will be painting them. You know, and then I'll be. I'll probably do a, a dull coat of uh, sorry, a, dull coat, a um, matte black coat on the bottom of the primer, and then I'll start building up with the um, Vallejo dipping wash again, the brown colour. So right, there's the door, just two seconds. Ah, sorry about that, there's Gemma. Just a portion of but nothing for me. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so, how was that? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to assemble all those and. Uh, I probably might do the tracks of how to do the next, the next couple of steps. I shall see. So it's only a quick update. So as you can see, everything's done, ready to go. And because I've got a lot of, excuse me, I've got the big head set for this um, Stern Tiger, and I didn't possess a four to edge bender. So I intrigued me. I'll be a little one just to start with. I got it off the internet for seventeen quid. So. Obviously, there's the blade inside there, so this would probably be adequate for what I wanted it to start with. Um, yeah, so I've got everything I need for the stem target paints, tracks, um, everything else that I need. So I think I'll just leave it at that for now, and I'll be back when this part's complete. Right, back again. So as you can see, I've got the lower hull together. The all the uh, Suspension arms, I'll we'll put it into place. There's a nice little lock in place, uh, lock it in just to go on each one so they're all in the right position. And sorry, you couldn't see that video, they're all in the right position. Both sides, obviously, you can tell they're all turning up being a tiger. One's one way, one's the other. And the back plate is on. Let me lift the back plate's on. All the suspensions on. There's a little bit of detail on the bottom, not a great deal. These little parts are on from the uh, transmission, and the transmission back of it. The transmission itself, final drives on. So that's that was part one, and then we started on the wheels, which we started off. We've got all the uh, different kinds of wheels. Yep, those ones are already cleaned and ready to go. Just want the edges cleaning up again, which I shall do on that bit there now. Do them later all on. So that's one set of wheels, and the rest are on there, which we've got uh, all the wheels ready to. They're all cleaned. You see, the sprockets, return wheel, all the rest of the wheels there, all ready to be primed. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to break away from the instruction sheet for now, because I'm now going to put a bit of the zimmerit on onto the. Uh, Onto this part here and this part there and that part. Sorry, 
and this part on the back will be doing the back and the two sides and then I'll be getting back to you so that's where we are at the moment so I shall crack on be back soon right back again gents I made a complete I was going to do something completely out of uh, order really I've just thought about it so no way I should be putting the zimmer on yet and the reason why is because I've got to spray the hull with the, the red oxide primer but I say I have got the zimmer it ready to let me come down here let's bring this light So you've got this side here, so I've actually done, I've got all this ready to rock and roll, so this will just fit, fits perfectly along the sides of there. But I'm going to damage a few of these before I actually, I don't know if I can damage them before I put them on or after. Bit of light damage on the, uh, on the Zimmerit. Like I say, I was just cutting them out thinking that I've done something, no, there should, should be something else. And then it hit me, it's the red oxide primer, so I've done some bits, I've done the, uh, one isn't straight, that one is it? There we go. The exhausts, I've done the exhausts and everything I can put on there that needs to be sprayed at the moment. I had to cut a few pieces off, it does tell you in the um, instructions on the zimmer that you take that, that part off as well, and on the other side you've got a few more to take off as well. So before I do anything else really, I should be really spraying this with the red oxide before I do anything else. Um, and I'll probably do this, the red oxide primer I'm going to use is from MIG. And I'll be doing the uh, the red primer light base, I would have thought. Let's just check what we've got, we've got red primer and Rottenberg. Burn, 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 burn. So, and then we have a grey primer as well. So I shall have to get an agitator in these and mix them up and we'll see where we go from there with the uh, with them. So I can put these tracks up here as well out of the way. So they can always sit up there ready to be done later on. So I think my next job will be is to prime the base with the red oxide and all the wheels I think to start with and let that dry and then we'll put the zimmer it on so that's what we'll do next I think so it won't be long I'm back again so I'll have that primed all the wheels primed in the red oxide primer we'll leave that to dry and then we'll assemble the zimmer it on the side and on the rear before we go any further and on the front sorry there's a piece to go on the front as well which we'll be doing as well. So, and then we'll leave the base, and then we can start concentrating on the top. But I have got a zimmer red set for the interior, so I'm not too sure yet if I want to. Well, when I do the, um, when I, I'll just snip it off now. It's just a pity that the roof doesn't come away. There's a, there's a gap at the top on the roof, you know. So. However, it fits like so, like so, like that. But I have quite a bit of interior inside, so I'm debating on. I say I, I might try and. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to work that one out with the uh, the interior. Not too sure yet. Are we going to do the interior? Is it going to be worth it? Because we're not going to see much, but. We shall see. So that obviously fits wherever it fits. Must fit there, must fit somewhere on there, must fit maybe. Let's have a gander. Let's have a gander. Let's see how that part actually sits. Ah, you got a front part to put on yet. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of interior to do. Actually, you can actually see the interior to a certain degree. Um, but yeah, that's where I'll probably go to next. Just uh, with the interior, so there's a part to go on there, obviously, and then that sits on there. 
So, without further ado, I think I'll go and start getting the stuff ready to prime the colours for the base and the wheels. So, this is Greg signing off, and I think we'll call this the finish of update one. So, update two will be along shortly. So, I'll just say thank you very much for watching. It's been a bit haphazard, but we've got there in the end. So, this is Greg signing off, and we'll catch you soon with, with the update two.